Diciamocelo sinceramente, il processo di Johnny Depp ci ha tenuti incollati agli schermi per settimane, a volte per riflettere, a volte anche per strapparci un sorriso. Johnny Depp è diventato icona sin dalle prime udienze, quando rispondeva in modo esilarante alle domande dell'avvocato di Amber Heard. Vediamo insieme alcuni momenti. And you may have been you may have been may have been drunk in that video, correct? There's a possibility of that, yes sir. You you, you poured yourself a um a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint. Yeah. I poured myself a large glass of wine. Right. I thought it necessary. Right. Objection calls for hearsay. A different question, Mr. Depp. Um, yes. Let's let him object to another one. <laughs> He'd had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. Hearsay, Your Honor. The next article says Johnny Depp reportedly drank heavily and was constantly late on the new Pirates movie set. Did I read that right? You did, reportedly. The next article these are all, also these, from these, May 10, these are drugs, 2017. Mr. This, Depp, this is a pathetic attempt. Mr. Depp, please just respond to the question that I'm asking you. The Rolling Stone article entitled The Trouble with Johnny Depp, Multi-Million Dollar Lawsuits, A Haze of Booze and Hash, A Marriage Gone Very Wrong, and A Lifestyle He Can't Afford Inside the Trials of Johnny Depp. Did I read that right? You did. You should read the article. It's and the last one... <laughs> Ma tra gli ospiti d'eccezione, anche un bizzarro psichiatra ed un giornalista con la risposta pronta. Insomma, diversi personaggi che sono oramai entrati a far parte delle nostre vite, proprio come fosse una serie televisiva a cui siamo appassionati. You know this case is being televised, right? I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame, doesn't Objection, it? Objection, Your Honor. Argumentative. I, I can ask that question. Oh, ruled. Um, so I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization, and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Thank you. Now, during your deposition, what were the circumstances under which you decided to call Mr. Depp an idiot? Under somebody to call Mr. Depp an idiot? Yeah, you called Mr. Depp an idiot in your deposition. Why oh, I think, oh, oh, okay. So I think it was in the context. I think it was in the, I should, probably should read the context of it. Because I think the context was, and I'm trying to think back, and I'm trying to think back. Okay, and what I thought it was related to was if you're coming to some deposition, okay, and again, I'm thinking back, so I may, you have it in front of you. I don't. So I'm thinking back where was he's coming in from Europe for a deposition, a uh, video deposition that he gave, and he took it overnight the night before, and what I think I said was that if you're going to take a If you're going to do a major thing to a, a trial that you're involved with, I think you'd be an idiot to come in the night before. All right. So I didn't call Mr. Depp an idiot. I certainly called that planning an idiot. I didn't call him an idiot. So the words, so I mean he's an idiot, are mistranscribed? No, I'm sure, again, if I said it in that, con if you just read one line, one snippet, I'm sure it was in the context I just said. But again, you have it in front of you, I don't. Yeah. Um, is... Uh, Idiot a professional opinion? I wasn't writing professional opinion. Yeah. No. Is it a psychiatric opinion? And that follows the, the Goldwater rule. How does it follow the... Oh, well, you just said that. I'm not writing a professional opinion. I just said idiot. That's not a... No, so idiot is not a professional opinion? Mm-hmm. Is, is it your practice to describe people as idiots? My practice to describe people... Is my practice... No, I don't describe people, clinical, my clinical cases as idiots or patients as idiots or victims as idiots. No, sir. But you sat for a deposition in this case and, and described the plaintiff as an idiot, correct? Uh, you gave me nine hours of deposition, and if I said the word idiot, 
it was an idiot in planning. It wasn't making him an idiot. I don't know Mr. Depp's IQ. I don't know his overall functioning. So therefore, if I said it, it was an idiot in planning, which is what I meant to come across as. All right. So you did say you don't know his overall functioning, but you made some testimony today as to some evaluations you made relative to his functioning. You would agree with me that it's probably a good idea to think about the questions that are asked you in a court proceeding before answering them. Am I allowed to answer that question? Yes. Okay. So what I meant by function, what I said by function, I believe that his agent reported how late he was showing up to every movie while the cast is waiting for him. I believe that would be an impairment. If I showed up late for that, I would not be here right now. I would not have a job. Okay. I believe the thing was in terms of uh, balking out of treatment for substance rehab that his doctor is prescribing for him. So if you're asking me if that's an impairment of functioning, I would say I'm very much substantiated in that. I, I'm trying to understand how you got to this notion of cognitive decline. And I, I thought it was based at least in part on, on the manner in which he testified. On the, I'm sorry, what? On the manner in which he testified. On the manner, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not being difficult, I can't hear, I'm sorry, on what? Let's start with the easy question then. Maybe we can. That was pretty easy, go ahead. All right, yeah. Doctor, you're going to have to just answer the questions. Okay, okay? sorry about that. I haven't yeah. been getting into it. You, you need to just answer the questions. Okay, sorry. It just went away, you know, that just got fixed. We walked out of the trailer at some point. My dog stepped on a bee. We went to the vet. Zoot <laughs> bee. Is, is that, do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. No, you'll be happy to know I didn't see Willy Wonka as a... You have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They, but I the don't. Miss Heard... I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. As of today. And don't break anything on your way out. <laughs> Thank you. Domani il verdetto finale. Chi pensi vincerà?